Hi all, I thought I'd do another quick video on, um, sorry about the rain, it's pouring down, on assembling and lighting of the MSR XG K EX stove, okay? So, very quickly. All the legs out. This one is now fitted with this, like a silencer cap on the top. Um, I have tested it, it works very well. Okay, so we're going to pull it over. We're going to fit the bottle, make sure it's snug. Can you see that? Clip it into place. Okay, prime it. Okay. Then what you want to do then is you want to release a little bit of fuel so it primes the stove. You'll see it seep out in the bottom. That's it. When you ignite that first, and then what that does, that actually heats up the chamber. If you can see that little loop going over there, and that's like a gasifying chamber. And that, uh, there's liquid gas in there at the moment. When it gets to a certain temperature, then that liquid gas turns to vapour and then should ignite. So you just let that run for a while. Found some useless, useless information, some useful information that uh, in the 1970s, Mountain Safety Retu, Mountain Safety Research, sorry, MSR, designed a pressurised burner intended to use in ad adverse conditions, i.e., one of these. They are good, I must admit. Without that cap on, um, I don't think there's much to put this stove out. It, uh, it's a pretty substantial bit of kit. I mean, they use these in the Antarctic, I believe. Right, so that's dying down. So in a minute, I will start warming her up. There we go, you can start you can't hear it very well because of the rain, I do apologise. Apologise for the rain. You can see it start coming to the burners. Okay, just get it going. It does settle down. That's just the excess fuel. She builds up the heat. On my one of my other videos, I've done a test on a, a boil test on with the uh, the silencer off and the silencer on. There is a, a quite a big difference. That's burning beautifully now. I do love this stove. I must admit. A lot of people it scares them. I think. On full, that should be. That's it. Beautiful engineered. Tucked away nicely in my rucksack. Very efficient. I find them very safe. Um, I mean, I don't think you'd want to use it in a tent unless it was a really big, sort of airy tent, and you wouldn't want to put it on the surface of the tent if it's inflammable. But apart from that, you know, you could use it. I mean, there's usually canopies now with tents, so you can just cook in the canopy or under a tarp. So, just a very quick video on lighting and how the stove works with the new silencer cap on it. 
I'll put a link in the description below where you can get these caps from. They're not that cheap, but they're very effective. It does restrict um, your cooking time very slightly, but nothing to worry about. I mean, boiling the kettle of water uh, on my other video, if you watch that one, um, you'll see the difference. Okay, that's great. Thanks very much for watching. Thumbs up or any comments down below and we'll catch you in the next vid. All the best, take care.